Yo, what's going on guys? Flurpleder here and welcome back to another Minecraft video here on the PvP War Skyblock Retro Server. I've got a lot to go over uh, and some awesome things planned for the day. Hopefully, I definitely, we've got some things planned. It's going to be awesome. I want to start off by saying, first of all, uh, I want to make sure my settings are set because I crashed Minecraft a couple times. Action's been giving me some problems. So I am recording using OBS. Um... Uh, studio, not studio, but some Streamlabs OBS, which I normally use to stream over on twitch.tv slash there. So if things look a little bit different, that is why. Hopefully the quality is good, and I don't know, maybe I'll record with this more, because I've been having issues every now and then with action, which makes no sense. It literally updated, right? It was fine, I recorded a couple of videos here and there with it. No update, and just all of a sudden, it breaks. I don't know what happened, maybe it's because I restarted my computer and somehow that messed it up, but... You might notice, getting into today's video, first of all, you might notice some things are missing here. We've, we've, we're missing crops. What has happened? Well, let me tell you, I streamed over at, again, twitch.tv slash slurple there, doing some of Skyblock Retro. I think I went for almost four hours. I actually have the VOD on my, uh, on my, on my computer, and it was, um, it was three hours and 37 minutes. I planned on editing that and uploading it, but then I was like, nah, it's not... I mean, that, that, that's a lot of work to edit. I could split it in half because I did two different parts. But overall, I don't think it's worth it. What did I do in that four hours, though? We grinded a bit. We learned some things. We tested some features. And we put together, I think, the best methods of making money on this server. Now, again, the question, where is everything? Well, if you look up, I have built a platform at the top of my world, if we teleport up here. Uh, this is temporary, by the way, so is this. I was testing more things with this and figuring things out. These, very good, especially if you have this. I want to show you that in a second. You see the price, $55. That's important, and I'll show you why in a second. Now, we've got our farms down here, which are harvestable. I've got to fix this one because I messed up the schematic, uh, and I've got my sugar cane here. Also, <clears throat> disclaimer here. I'm still not 100% sure if using Schematica to replant all of this is allowed. I don't know if that would be a thing that they're like, no, no, no. It wouldn't make sense, but I mean, because the harvester hoe is a thing, I figure maybe they'll be like, nah, that makes it useless, but right now it's kind of useless. I have some things to go over with that as well, based on uh, wheat and what I think is glitched about it and what they know is glitched about it. But getting into other things, we've got a mob spawner grinder thing here. And if I fly in, in up, up top here, we've got uh, we got some spawners. I built this in a way, right? Uh, if I do F9, you'll see it's divided into four chunks, four pieces of chunks. Ow. My slimes are there. We've got 50 chickens here. We've got some pigs here. A singular pig here. Pigs are kind of in. I'll be going into that a little bit. I'm going to turn down some sounds real quick. We got more chickens over here. Over there, I mean, and cows and blazes here. My first blaze is absolutely beautiful. Why did I divide it this way? That is because you can only have 50 chickens or 50 of a mob uh, spawner type in a singular chunk. Or you can have only one spawner in a chunk, essentially, and then you stack more into it. So... I can't get, if you see here an ice upgrade, uh, I can't auto-fill it, forgot. If we go to this, right now, the first upgrade, I could eventually get this, but I want to save my mob coins for other things, but right now, I could technically get this, I think I have, actually, I'm getting close, I have like 2,500 in the bank right now, that I just put in there. But I'm getting close. I could upgrade this to 75, but why would I do that when I can just stack another 50 there, another 50 there, another 50 here? The chickens aren't too useful to me right now because I've set this up to auto kill. It doesn't kill blazes. It kills mostly. Actually, you can see what it what it produces here. It's producing uh, cow drops, slime drops, and uh, uh, pork chops, uh, pig drops. Which each one of these chests, when they fill up, gives me about twenty thousand an hour. I want to get into this real quick before we get into the official plan which i've already put in the title and thumbnail and description whatever it's gonna be messing with spawners i guess i'll go ahead and go over that as you guys know or might know um if we go to is worth if we see here there's different types of spawners there's chickens there's raging chickens there's sheep there's baba sheep there's pigs and there's kevin bacon now how do we upgrade to those spawners you might ask well if you click If you click onto a spawner, you'll see this here, and we can upgrade. It looks like they have more planned for this, hopefully. That would be super sick. This is actually such a neat feature. The only issue I have with it is, I don't know 
what they do exactly. It says what it is, drop type flaming chicken. What does that entail? Right? What is what does any of this mean? There's 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 brown mushroom. What does that do? Just give me mushrooms along with what it already gives? Frozen blaze rods. That's obviously sounds like a custom item. What the hell does it do? This one is literally Kevin Bacon. What does all this do? What does it sell for? Is the biggest thing. I feel like that's something they should work on to make this more clear. Because I didn't know this was even a feature on this server until I checked Island Worth. And then randomly discovered, oh, I can upgrade doing this. You can always reset it back to default. And you have to repurchase any upgrades. So that's unfortunate. Um, so if the upgrades aren't good, it's not good. I want to test that today, though. I'm probably going to take, like, I want to take a cow spawner. I think that's one of the ones I want to do. But I also want to take a chicken spawner and test it. I kind of want to take a pig. I only have a limited amount of money, so I'm going to have to do that, you know, a little bit. I can only do a little bit, but we'll get into that. What am I talking about with the wheat? As you guys know, if we use the harvester hoe to go over it with replant and telekinesis, one, replant doesn't work if you don't... I think it works, actually, if you get seeds back. So, like, if I go over to the... To this and I break it right and replants but I didn't actually get any nether wart I did there it's such a low drop that it's first of all it sucks for this wheat's the only thing it's good for and what I realized is I think it's due to a glitch that it's good because as you know when I break this wheat I don't get any seeds back but what you'll notice what you'll notice what you'll notice I think they patched it no, right there. Okay, so I broke four of these, right? And I got, what is that? Two extra wheat. Every now and then. It doesn't seem to be as often anymore. I don't know if that was a thing that they fixed or what. But it gives you extra wheat. Like, if I go through this entire farm using my harvester hoe versus my hand or fortune, I guess my hand, because I'd still be getting one for one no matter what on the wheat. Like, if I break this, I get one, one wheat. One wheat. One wheat. But I do get more seeds. Yeah, it's one for one. So I break a wheat, it gives me a piece of wheat, right? So using my pickaxe or my hand going through and harvesting all this, I get like, I think it's like 17,000, something around that. Using the hoe, I get about $45,000 from this. And I think that's because instead of giving me seeds, it is giving me wheat as extra every now and then. It seems to be a little different. I don't know. It's kind of scuffed. It's, it's a whole thing, but... That's something I discovered with this. So right now, this isn't worth it. I think they talked about adding fortune to this, but the only thing that would make this good right now is one, telekinesis needs to give seeds, uh, and two, fortune added to this would be awesome. This, a bit scuffed. The only good thing is the extra sell prices, which I guess I'll go ahead and show you this real quick. 55 stars, or money. Damn it. Remember that. $55, right? If, oops, I'm going to go slash shop. Farming shop. And we go over here. Cocoa Boon sell for 0 0.5. That is an insane increase. Like, if we go see potatoes, right? They sell for 12. It's tw it's like a $10 increase um, for both of these, carrots and potatoes, using the harvester hoe. So it goes from 5 to 15. This goes to 25, so it's a 10 increase. Watermelon's the only one that doesn't have a huge increase. This one massive increase which is just insane to me getting into what we have to do today actually i should have said it spawned because first of all i got the scavenger book chance to drop extra ores while mining i want to apply that and see what that can do as well we've got this lights out book which i guess i'll deal with in a second i want to i want to burn it i don't want it i want to test out scavenger and see how nuts it is because it already gives me bonus drops right I don't even know if scavenger's really gonna make a difference. I don't know how to really tell if it makes a difference, to be honest with you. If I break this. Okay, it did give me extra. I was worried it wasn't using fortune or it wasn't giving me extra drops in general. Scavenger might have just ruined my pickaxe, actually. Oh, wait, no. Maybe just fortune didn't work. It, it's giving you random drops like this. Like, it gives you a chance to give you ores. Oh, scavenger's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead, before I get into the upgrading and testing of different spawners, I got two more things I wanna do. One, I'm going to go into here, and I want to burn this book. I don't know what I want to burn it for, though. It's a level 2 enchant, so it would probably give a good amount of mob coins. It gives 2, two million XP. I think I want to go mob coins, though, to be honest with you. How much does it give me? 30? That was not worth it. The last thing I want to show you, and I'm just going to show you a quick thing about it, because on the stream, I went through and I looked through the spawner shop, and I was looking to see what was worth it for spawners. Now, the only answers I came up with so far 
Obviously, there's the upgrades. I don't know what the upgrades are. Gas spawners. Actually, I can see uh, in this. Gas spawners would probably be worth it. Because if you upgrade them... I mean, that's an emerald block. Iron block for iron golems. A gold block for zombie pigmen. So they would also probably be worth it. Actually, hold on. How much is a... Some pigments 8 mil. I think the way it works is it's like a 10% increase. So this is 200,000. Or no. No, it's like double the price, I think. It's like buying another spawner. Like this one was 200,000, so it would be 400,000 for the upgrade. Uh, and so on and so on, I think, was how it works. So this would be 16 million for that. But you get gold blocks versus doing 20 million and getting iron blocks. And if you see here, gold does sell for more than iron the only spawners i can think of that might be worth it right because i was looking through all the sell prices of all the potential drops and stuff like that unless they drop custom things and i don't know about it the only ones i can think of that are worth it right based off of drops let's say the first one is cow and that's because it drops leather which is one per that's not a huge amount but if you go to farming shop it also drops this so that's seven total but even if bare minimum it only gives state that is six per even if it's the raw beef it's four per which is still better than most of the ones like if i look at spiders right spiders drop literally 3.5 dollars worth roughly i mean that's like for the minimum right if they only drop one drop skeletons even worse so it is literally like two dollars i think it's literally two dollars like it is not worth it zombies are 1.5 plus the potential of iron which is 5 a potential for a potato which is 12 so they're another one that is like a little bad i'm not 100 percent sure but they might be worth it right now the only definite is cows they give the highest amount of money for sure just for their base drop now the other one i was looking at was actually iron golems which is a pretty good one because it gives five for an iron ingot and then if you actually see in uh was it not in this no it was in farming wasn't it it gives a poppy so it gives about 10 right roughly it doesn't give as many poppies as it does iron which is fine even if it does give poppies that's 10 that's literally 10 dollars a drop about iron golems cows zombies zombie pigmen maybe good drops but from what i've seen it's mostly cows are the best spawner for making money back but i think the best for its price is definitely cows i want to upgrade some of these and see what sorts of upgrades they get and what happens first one i want to do is definitely one of these let's remove one chicken spawner i want to go ahead i kind of want to remove my pig because he's just kind of eh, and i'll see later and then i want to remove one cow i also kind of want to go for a blaze so i'm going to do that and we'll see what happens so i want to see what happens with this you know what what's it gonna do let's go ahead and just grab the flaming chicken upgrade for two hundred thousand, which was the price of the spawner i believe we're gonna wait here and see this first one and see uh, if it's worth it and i guess i guess while i wait we'll put another one down so this is a raging chicken it automatically gives you um cooked food i don't know if that's necessarily worth it cows i mean without the upgrade you can auto kill them it is pretty cool i will say uh so we're gonna hold on to that and we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this guy so this is kevin bacon i'm assuming it's gonna do the same thing actually and just give me um cooked food but let's see so we're gonna go ahead and kill these guys get them out of the way that's like you know little bit of stars they were i think more than the chicken yeah what, what it was like two of them was better than the chicken which makes sense they're a more expensive spawner and i guess while that does it i want to check this one this is the only one i think that's going to be different i think it's going to drop mushroom drops as well here's kevin bacon let's kill him again without the fire aspect sword yeah he does drop this but for some reason it's less or no wait it's a custom drop i sold 12 of them for 120 10 each Whereas I- Oh, interesting. You might actually be worth it. The Raging Chickens. Hold on. What did it sell the uh, the other- their their food for? Um, four each for the cooked chicken. Maybe? Hold on. Did I- I did upgrade you. Let's go ahead. Again, same deal. Instead, it gives brown mushrooms. Which sells for 12 each. Oh. I'm gonna remove you you're worth it you're kind of worth it because you both sell for a good bit more what was the price of the of the kevin bacon stuff over there definitely still 10 each okay oh 
Yeah, that's not gonna happen. That is a lot of money for that. I want to go ahead and actually take all of these for now. I want to put the pig back down right here, and I want to go ahead and put the upgraded chicken. I can't put you there, can I? No, I can, because you are upgraded. I could upgrade three. So I'm gonna go ahead, one, two, three of these guys. Let's put them down, and, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I forgot. I'll just, two... So that's three right there, and then if I check it, I can go ahead and upgrade all three of these, take all, take, take, take all, and we can go throw them back down. But I'm not even getting, well, I'm getting steak in here, but where the hell's my mushrooms at? Oh, there they are. Some drops there. Are there any on the other side? There are. Okay, cool. It's working. Let's go. Oh, we're also about to hit a, a vote party, which brings me into what what, what is uh, happening next, actually. Because the last thing I want to do is open some crates. And I think by the time we do hit it, we just hit it. So 15 seconds, we'll get our vote party reward which is super awesome give me something good chicken spawners i mean i'll take it two normal crate keys and an experience bottle for fifty thousand. okay i mean i'm fine with that that's pretty good i always love getting keys makes me happy because i can spin it and get absolutely nothing good another fortune five pickaxe we get booster for experience if i'm not mistaken i have two of those actually yeah, two self XP boosters, which I haven't used yet. I need to get a good EX or a good XP farm setup, and then I'll boost it. Our last crate key, and then I've got one golden key, which I want to open. Hopefully, get something good like that Fortune Eight pickaxe would be good. But then I have to rebuild my pickaxe, which would suck a little bit. I also can't vote yet. Actually, I think by now I can vote. I'm probably just gonna vote off camera and then spin my crates and get you know something cool. A booster pet. Oh, it boosts pets experience i don't even have a pet yet that's gonna be the end of this video hope you guys did enjoy if you didn't you haven't yet go down below leave a like on this video and while you're down there make sure you subscribe and comment what realm you play on i'm very curious to see where we got people you know placed do you have are you playing fire ice um are you playing skyblock retro with me are you even playing on other servers because they have a faction server which i think is resetting and they have prisons which i think i'm going to check out for a video a little hint hint but uh Hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.